President Bola Tinubu has announced the creation of the Federal Ministry of Livestock Development in a move expected to end the age-long farmers' herders crisis nationwide. Tinubu approved the creation of the ministry on Tuesday when he inaugurated the Presidential Committee on Livestock Reforms at the Council Chamber of the State House in Abuja on Tuesday. The committee is expected to propose recommendations aimed at fostering peaceful coexistence between herders and farmers while ensuring the security and economic well-being of all Nigerians. TV 360's Victoria Akonde completes the report. The creation of the new Ministry of Livestock Development is one of the 12 recommendations of the National Livestock Reforms Committee chaired by the chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Abdullahi Ganjuje. It is the latest attempt by the federal government to address the decades-long conflicts between herders and farmers in Nigeria over access to land, pasture and water. President Bola Tinubu believes the process to be carried out by the new ministry will help resolve the lingering conflict which has claimed over 60,000 lives so far. Efficient cold chain logistics are crucial in maintaining the quality and safety of these perishable goods from farm to market, thereby reducing food waste and ensuring a steady supply. This sector will boost agricultural productivity, enhance export opportunities, and stimulate economic growth by fostering a robust value chain that benefits farmers, processors, herders, distributors, and consumers alike. Following the approval, it says the federal government is fully prepared to cover the cost of acquiring lands to ensure the peaceful coexistence of pastoralists and farmers. To provide impetus to enable Nigeria to finally take advantage of livestock farming, dairy products, cold chain logistics, collectively offer substantial commercial and economic advantages. We have seen solution and opportunity. With this adversity, that uh, had plagued us over the years. And I believe the prosperity is here in your hands. In his remarks, the former chairman of the committee thanked the president for taking further action following the submission of a report on livestock reforms on September 28, 2023. We shall advise on implementation strategies going by the well-established framework articulated in the reports and the blueprint before us. We shall be conscious of the documented experiences of other countries that have done very well in the livestock sector. We shall from time to time consult with the relevant ministries, departments and agencies of government that will support this course. We like to appreciate you for also appointing the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Abubakar Kari, to serve as co-chair and to acknowledge his wonderful support as a good host to this important committee. While President Tunubu will chair the Committee on Livestock Reforms, a former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Itairo Jaga, is to serve as a deputy chairman. Tinubu added that the traditional method of livestock farming will need to be reviewed and repositioned with the support of stakeholders, which includes the state governments, in order to open up new opportunities for growth and prosperity. Victoria Akonde, TV360, Lagos.